Swimming World TV here with Chloe Isleta from Rovella's Athletic Club and you are having an outstanding Far Westerns meet so far. Yeah. Let's talk about yesterday because you were one of our few swimmers that had a triple event lineup. So you started off with that 200 IM, you came into finals and you won that event in a 206 I believe. So what was your strategy going into that 200 IM? Well, at first I was like, I didn't think I was going to get the record because I didn't think I was going to get it. So at first, so I was like, oh, I'll just try my best and I actually got it. So I was proud of that. Good. One. So that was a pleasant surprise. But that was, must have been a great way to start off your night knowing you had two more events to follow. Yeah, it was tiring. Like after the 200 IM, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have the 100 free next. <laughs> well, let's talk about the 100 free. How did, how did that one go for you after you put together a great 2 IM? Uh, I didn't do so well. I added like a second or two. It wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had three events, so you rounded out with the 200 backstroke, another victory. So how exhausted were you after doing three events in one session? Oh, I was really tired. My muscles were hurting, but my coach said I have to suck it up and keep going. What did you do in between your races to help recover from one event and get ready for the next? Well, what I did was I just like did a warm down and I just 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 kept going and then after that when I was about to get ready to swim, I did my warm up and try as hard as I can to get my energy back. What kind of sets do you like to focus on in your warm up to get that energy up and going? Well, it depends what I'm swimming. Like if I'm swimming the 100 back, I usually try to work under my underwater dolphin kicks. So that's what makes me go faster. So I just try to keep doing my underwater dolphin kicks to go fast. So you're a great backstroker. Is that a leg you like to focus on in your IM events? Yeah, like on my butterfly, I'm all right on my butterfly, but my backstroke is the one that keeps me going. And we saw you in the 100 backstroke today. You are the top seed going into finals. So do you prefer the 100 or the 200 back? I prefer the 100 back because I like endurance swimming and I like underwater dolphin kicks because I'm mostly good at that part. Well, you have two events tonight, one being the 100 back, but let's talk about that 100 IM because it's definitely one you're looking forward to. You have a record on your mind, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct because I'm this morning I did a 59.2 and the record's 59.1, so I'm trying to get it. Very close. Well, it might be another one to add to your list. And jumping to tomorrow up to the 400 IM, yeah. so what are your goals going into that 4 IM on the final day? Um, I'm going to try to go under 526 or 525 to get to beat my record time on the 400 IM. And so you, do you focus on that backstroke leg or how do your other strokes pan out in the 4 IM? Well, what I do is on my butterfly, I just try to, try to keep it as long and strong as I can. On my backstroke, I do the same. I go underwater dolphin kick and just keep going strong. On breaststroke and freestyle, I just try my hardest. So this is a, you have a huge meet lineup here at the Far Westerns. Uh, what are you doing at night to prepare? Are you having any sort of special meals, carbo loading? What's your, what's your secret to be, being able to handle three events in one session, two events tonight, coming back for a 4 a.m.? That's, that's a lot of racing. Yeah, my mom tells me that I have to eat lots of like protein and I have to eat like lots of rice and like bananas and stuff. <laughs> so she feeds me that like every day so I can get my energy. Well, you're definitely doing something right. You've done a great job so far. We're looking forward to your events to come. Thanks, Chloe. Thank you.